Hi friends, in this video we are going to deal with the case summary of the important and latest Supreme Court judgment pronounced now in the area of tenancy law, uh, that too in relation to the fixation of mesne profits to be paid by the tenant to the landlord for continuing the possession of the premises once a decree for eviction is stayed. To know more about it, please watch the video fully. If you feel that it's useful to you, please like, share and comment and never ever forget to subscribe to it and further click on the bell icon next to the subscribe button. Hi everyone, in this video I will discuss about the latest Supreme Court judgment. In the important judgment titled Martin and Harris Private Limited and Anothers vs Rajendra Mehta and Others pronounced on 6 July 2022, the Honorable Supreme Court has held that once a decree of eviction is stayed, it is necessary for the appellate court to fix the men's profit to be paid by the tenant to the landlord for continuing the possession of the premises. The facts of the case would be that the plaintiffs, the owners of the suit property, filed a suit for eviction, possession, recovery of rent and permanent injunction. The suit was decreed and it was confirmed on appeal. The second appeal was filed challenging both the judgments before the Rajasthan High Court which was admitted by the order granting stay on ejectment. The order of stay was extended from time to time. On filing an application under Order 41 Rule 5 read with Section 151 of CPC by the plaintiffs asking for men's profit due to continuation of stay on eviction, decree it was decided, whereby the appellants were directed to pay the men's profit at Rs 2,50,000 per month from the date of filing of application is the disposal of the appeal. The said order was challenged by, the, uh, by filing the special leave petition before the court, which was dismissed as withdrawn with liberty to the appellants to file review petition before the High Court. On filing the review petition, it was dismissed by the order which led to file the present appeals challenging the said order as well as the order passed in review questioning the grant of men's profit. The Supreme Court has held that in the previous proceedings filed under Section 6 and 7 was under the old Act, that is, Rajasthan Premises Control of Rent and Eviction Act 1950, wherein the standard rent was filed Rs 45,000 per month to the suit property. During the proceedings, the present suit seeking decree of eviction was filed by the plaintiffs under the provision of the old Act in November 2002 prior to the commencement of the new Act, that is, Rajasthan Rent Control Act 2001. Thus, on the date of commencement of the new Act, the present suit was pending and wide judgment dated 3-6-2016, trial court decreed the suit, which was confirmed in appeal by the lower appellate court on 10-1-2017. Challenging the judgment and decree concurrently passed by the two courts, second appeal was filed by the appellants which was admitted on 14-10-2017 and stay of ejectment passed by the High Court which was extended quite a few times. Thereafter, on filing an application under Order 41 Rule 5 read with Section 151 of CPC asking men's profit by the plaintiffs, it was allowed by the order dated 18-5-2018 against which the special leave petition which was filed by the appellants was dismissed as withdrawn with liberty to file a review petition after noting the submissions made before this court. On perusal of the order, it is clear that the appellants raised a plea that maximum payable men's profit as per section 20 of new act can be three times of the rent in case of premises let out for commercial purposes. It was said that the rent, a standard rent was fixed at Rs 45,000 per month as a result of which three times would come to Rs 1,35,000. However, the direction of men's profit was at, uh, at uh, 2,50,000 per month by the High Court is unjust. This court without expressing any opinion with respect to filing, the quantum of men's profit directed to approach the High Court by filing the review. Further, Section 20 of the new Act deals with the execution of the orders of the rent tribunal in the manner so prescribed. Subsection 3 makes it clear that if the tenant does not vacate premises within three months of the date of issue of certificate for recovery of possession, 
in that event he is liable to pay men's profit at the rate of two times the rent in case premises let out for the commercial purposes at the rate of three times the rent in case of premises let out for the commercial purposes as applicable in the facts of the present case as per section 32 of the new act the repeal and savings clause of the old act has been specified however only subsection 3 is relevant which has been given overriding effect to the other provisions by which the application or suits or other proceedings filed under the old act pending on the date of commencement of the new act before any court shall be continued and disposed of in accordance with the provisions of the old act as the old act continued in force and this act had not been enacted. Thus it is clear that the suit or proceedings if any pending on the date of notification issued by the state for applicability of the new act such proceedings would continue under the old act and new act has no application. Therefore the high court rightly rejected the contention while dismissing the review petition and rightly held that section 20 of the new act by which three times men's profit to the standard rent was made permissible for the suit or proceedings started under the new act have no application in suit or proceedings initiated under old act and pending on the date of commencement of the new act. The reasoning given in order while rejecting the review petition by the High Court is perfectly in consonance to the spirit of section 32 of the new act. Thus, the findings of the fact recorded by the High Court do not warrant any interference. Thus, after passing the decree of eviction, the tenancy terminates and from the said date the landlord is entitled for men's profit or compensation depriving him from the use of the premises. Therefore, looking to the fact that the decree of eviction passed by the trial court has been confirmed in appeal against which the second appeal is pending, however, after stay on being asked the direction to pay men's profit or compensation issued by the High Court is in consonance to the law laid down by this court which is just, equitable and reasonable. On the basis of determination of the amount of men's profit depends on the facts and circumstances of each case considering place where the property is situated that is village or a city or a metropolitan uh, city location nature of premises that is commercial or residential uh, are and the rate of rent pre precedent on which premises can be let out are the guiding factors in the fact of the individual case. In the case of uh, at hand, the High Court observed that the tenanted property is located on the main road of New Colony uh, near Panjbati, which is a commercial area and the heart of Jaipur city. The said finding was arrived considering the voluminous documentary record dispelling the plea taken by the appellants. However, the court found it reasonable to determine Rs. 2,50,000 per month as men's profit as per the discussion made here and above so far as the area of the tenanted premises and the location of the property is concerned, the findings of fact have been recorded by the High Court. Those findings are based on the material brought on record which are neither persu uh, persuasive nor illegal. The amount of men's profit as fixed before the standard rent and six years from the date of passing of the decree of eviction. Therefore, the amount of men's profit has rightly been decided by the High Court while passing the impunct order. So, that is uh, it for today. Hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.